Hello, my name is Andrew Sarokin. I'm a tour guide in Australia. I've been doing tours more than 13 years and uh, this video I created to show you how you can travel with me around uh, New South Wales state and to see the most interesting places out of the crowd and uh, we starting our tour from Sydney, beautiful Sydney, Sydney Opera House and uh, City and uh, after we travel far away to Genola Caves, Canberra, we after we return to South Coast, uh, we visit beautiful beaches, kangaroos, so there are lots of lots of impressive uh, stops and lookouts and uh, before I would like to show you a vehicle. So this is a Mercedes. It's a less than one year old a Mercedes. Pretty comfortable for seven people. Uh, the front bench you know, for two people a bit squashy. But uh, second row, as you can see in the automatic doors, uh, pretty comfortable for three people. Uh, also, you can watch the video on a tablet and the last row also there's another free seats all reclinable seats also there is a fridge there's my stuff and you can put all your luggage 11 big bags or three uh, four big bags and 11 medium one uh, the first stop in the blue mountains uh, glenbrook there is a nice cafe there's a few cafes with a beautiful uh, uh, breakfast, uh, like traditional Australian breakfast. Uh, this lookout towards the first lookout towards Blue Mountains Canyon. Uh, this Elysian Rock and the bridge, and there's a two lookouts, one spot. You can see there is a, a bushfire. Unfortunately, it's a bit you know, affected by bushfire, but it's okay right now after a few weeks of the fire uh, there's a fruit market it's a good place to try summertime australian summertime uh, tropical fruits mangoes cherries there's another lookout towards the great blue mountains canyon we have a two canyons one place this is a great blue mountains canyon pretty amazing canyon more than 980 meters the depth of the canyon and uh, we're heading to Genola Caves. So this is another lookout towards the Genola Caves. And uh, right next to Genola Caves, there's one spot where you can see the wallabies. Wallabies asking for food, but uh, it's illegal if you feed with bread. So this is a grass, is a typical same same food as uh, wallabies eating and this is a rosella crimson parrot really friendly and uh, the genola caves the genola caves are the oldest the cave system on the planet 340 million years ago formed as uh, gems of the Blue Mountains uh, and where you can see uh, very interesting uh, formations uh, stalactites, stalagmites and the helictites. The Orient Cave considered uh, the cave of the most beautiful caves in the world in top five list this is a huge 26 meters stalagmite 36 meters high this chamber this view from the bottom to the top very rich decoration created by nature during millions and million years uh, 
uh, magnificent stalactites, curtains. This is the hair they called formation. Lots of uh, chambers and uh, cave tour takes about one and a half hour in a small group. Uh, this is a Genola Caves house. This is our overnight hotel. Vintage building, 150 years old, in the valley next to the cave. It's really vintage because the bathrooms only on the floor not in the rooms but all the rooms are clean and uh, no smell in the room so you see there's a vintage furniture and uh, clean bed vintage wardrobe surrounding Genola case there are lots of uh, walking paths it's a Charlotte uh, arch the water dragon there's another view to the devil's coach arch uh, next morning we stopping in a small town Oberon, sleepy town, but with uh, good breakfast, inexpensive. After we visited uh, Goldburn, is a, a big marina statue inside is a museum marina small souvenir shops this area was the wool uh, producers and there's a nice olivia real food cafe now we in uh, australian parliament there's free access to australian parliament and made from all australian materials this is a senator's chamber and uh, right now standing on the heads of our senators this is a rooftop after heading to the mint a royal mint where you can make your own coin but you have to pay free coins to get one so this is a machine stamping real coin and uh, voila in your hands also you can see how the real coin stamping it's in the mass produced coins is factory as well available and the most uh, remarkable museum in uh, Canberra is Australian War Memorial Museum. There are lots of artifacts. For example, this is a submarine attack to see Nihaba. Uh, it's an uh, aircraft, uh, war War aircraft, World War One, World War Two, and many, many other artifacts. And uh, right now we are at the Mount Ansel lookout. It's a beautiful view towards the Canberra. See that on the lakes. The next uh, uh, night to stay in the Mantra Modern Hotel. Oh, there's the next hotel. Uh, Canberra resident, uh, white cockatoo. Uh, kangaroos. In Canberra, there are lots of uh, kangaroos. In Sydney you can't see the kangaroos, but in Canberra there are plenty of kangaroos. You can see that's a bit shy. They are 
wild animals uh, the coastal kangaroos are more friendly they're more friendly there is a male uh, and uh, after we're heading to national arboretum there is only one in the world uh, forest uh, of different plants so this is a bonsai also garden and the nice place for the lunch or just a coffee break with a view up on the hill so this is a drought time that's a time of a drought so it'll be dry usually it's very very green all these uh, hills there are lots of unique trees and after we head into the deep space exploration center there's a lots of the dishes uh, the big cheese dishes like a football field museum aviation museum this is a moon rock it is brought and presented to australia for the moon uh, uh, mission contribution because they all this uh, satellites to used and still using or that's uh, communication with uh, uh, Mars, for example. And uh, there's a very interesting, uh, the bridge, the main section is lifting up to let the ship sail out of the hub, uh, out of the river. Uh, also, right now we're already at the, on the south coast, and this is a barbecue. There's a barbecue, lots of the places for the barbecue where you can grill your food and enjoy a view. It's pretty simple, no hustle with the charcoals. Next morning, uh, we're starting from a Batemans Bay. This is a local lake with the pelicans and uh, darts, other birds. Hotel, hotel for the third night. This hotel in Batemans Bay, and uh, a lorry kids, the little parrots. It's like a alarm clock. Waking up early in the morning. Uh, all hotels residents. The kangaroos, after we're heading back to Sydney, you can see they're kangaroos. The kangaroos living on the backyards of the people, it's normal. The big male kangaroo, so there is a female. They play, it's a baby playing with a mom. It's real good fun. And there are lots of lots of kangaroos. They are friendly, but uh, I don't recommend you feeding of kangaroos. If they are still a wild animal, so let them keep wild. But they are very friendly. You can come very closer, they can come to you. The very curious animals next to the camp. Oh, this is a baby, you lost a mom. They're trying to find a mom, a orphan baby. It's eventually this baby found the mom. But right now he's very nervous. And trying to find help. But nobody really wanna help. Other kangaroos are you know, just pushing him away. And he is really desperate. What's going on? Maybe that helps? No, that didn't help. And 
trying to find the ma'am. And they're making noises. Like, help, help. On kangaroo language. Scared of everything. But eventually, the baby found the mom. Now, this is, as you can see, the big male. Like, alpha male. And it came to me. Sniffing yes, has really lots of muscles, the kangaroos. The males, kangaroos, have lots of muscles because the hearts of kangaroos are almost two times bigger than the heart of the men. They can scratch, so they don't feed the kangaroos, they can scratch if you got crazy. Next to the kangaroos paradise, it's beautiful south coast and uh, uh, right now we on the whitest beach on the planet it's coastal whitest beach we sent real white maybe not as white right now on the video but in reality it's a lot whiter and uh, filming video not in a good day because it's really windy after Hayam's Beach, there is another attraction called the Blow Hole. There is a blow hole. The water they pushing by the waves and uh, uh, blowing out of the hole like a geyser. And you can see the effect of the blowing hole right now. People splashed. After we visit uh, Minamara Rainforest, it's a beautiful rainforest with gigantic trees. Here you can see the trees, like a huge tree you'll just see. And there's another tree. There are ficus trees with small leaves, ficus trees, one, more than 1,000 years old, 1,200 approximately. So, this is a live bird and echidna. Yeah, it's a lot of animals. They are wild animals. It's not a wildlife park. Real echidna. There's uh, the animal which is laid eggs and feeding with milk. This is a, not a porcupine. It's a completely different animal. Looks similar but different. And the live is male. It's like a local peacock. And there's a symbol of the New South Wales state live bird. Head lookout, and another beautiful lookout towards south coast. You can see also parallel cliff bridge or sea bridge, and uh, birds, birds everywhere. It's the Australia is like a land of birds. After uh, the next day, we'll travel to the reptile park. It is also available. This is the Tasmanian devil. Uh, it's all very unique animal. It's in Tasmania. Koalas. You can also pet koalas. This is the uh, fifth day of our travel. Uh, it's a little baby koala. Kangaroos, the kangaroos uh, from Kangaroo Island. And here in the reptile park, you can feed them 
and as you can see there is a male it's pretty big male and almost no people around in comparison to other parks where there are millions of people also this is from America a reptile is a turtle snapper and this is Australian is a called a platypus only a few places in Sydney where you can see the platypus and this is one of them it's platypus also interesting animal it's like a hybrid of a beaver and a duck and a ectosparrot also it's quite unique parrot male and female completely different red one is female the green one was a male and this is a barn owl Oh, this is a wombat. Uh, the symbol of Australia, emu and kangaroo. And after we travel to Hunter Valley, there is a wine uh, valley, and uh, also we can stop. Uh, and we stopped in uh, Hunter Valley Gardens. There is also there is a different style gardens, oranges and the Christmas decorations we finished our tour in Sydney this is uh, Tamarama Beach hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you all the best and see you on our tours in Sydney bye bye